Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading the book, Just How Long Can a Long String Be? This book is written and illustrated by Keith Baker. So this is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine. And the spine says, just how long can a... And then the rest is covered up by the sticker. Okay, friends, let's get started. Just how long can a long string be? Oh, here's a title page. Just how long can a long string be? Tell me, bird, said the ant. Just how long can a long string be? Well, little ant, it all depends, said the bird on what it will do from end to end. Will it tug a balloon? Oh, she's tugging a balloon right here. And I see that there's a green balloon and an orange balloon and a purple balloon and a lighter shade and a darker shade of pink. Or wrap around a box. Ooh, it looks like the ant and the bird are tying a string around a box. And here it says, happy birthday. It looks like somebody's sending a birthday present. Will it twist and turn and tangle in knots? Oh, wow. Look how knotted that is. It is very tangled. Will it pull down a shade? This is the string on the shade. Or will it turn on a light? There's the string on the light. If you pull the string, the light turns on. And if you pull it again, the light turns off. Will it fly in the sky holding on to a kite? This is a beautiful red kite. And the bird is holding on to the long string from the kite. Will it hang a picture on a wall? Ooh, these strings are holding up the pictures. They put a nail in the wall and then they put a string on the picture frame and the string holds up the picture. I see a bicycle and I see a tree with the leaves falling down and a swing. I see a picture of a person and here it says Ellie. I think that's the author's child's picture. Here's a snowman. Uh oh, the snowman lost its glove. I see some mountains and trees. I see some grapes with some butterflies and I see a pot of flowers. I see a bird's nest. Oh, I wonder if it's this bird's nest. And I see a flower with some ladybugs. Will it help the sweet pea vines grow tall? So sometimes some plants need some help growing really tall and sweet peas are one of them. So we put some stakes in the ground and we put some strings across so it's easier for the plants to grow up. Will it finish a necklace? Ooh, this is a string that makes a necklace. Will it finish a banjo? Ooh, this is a banjo. And the strings go across the banjo so that music can be played on. And will it be on a mop? Sometimes mops have lots of big strings on them too. Will it partner a puppet? A puppet is a sort of doll that can move because people, or in this case, a bird and ant, move the strings to get the parts of the puppet to move too. Or will it be with a yo-yo? Yo-yos have strings too, to help them go up and down. Will it help with a top? Ooh, here's a top. You can put a string on a top and let it go to make the, the top move. Will it skip 
in a game played with your friends. Oh, look, they're playing with a jump rope. And this bird is jumping, and so is the ant. They're jumping with the jump rope. Or tied to a pole with a hook on the end. Ooh, what's a hook on the end? They're going fishing. This string is being used as a fishing hook. Will it weave through a nest? That's the string I like best. So here, they're putting the string all around the nest to hold it together. Thank you, bird. Now I see, said the ant. It was the bird's nest. Remember we had the picture? Let's go back to the paintings. Right here, here's the nest with the string around it. We saw that's a beautiful picture. And here it is, right here. It was a picture of our friend, the bird's nest. Thank you, bird. Now I see a string's just as long as I need it to be. And what did the ant do? The ant took some string, put it on a branch, and made it into a little seat or a chair or a swing. The end. So this book was called, Just How Long Can a Long String Be? Thanks for coming to Storytime, friends, and I'll see you next time.